In this tutorial, you will learn how to review lists in auto entry and how to configure categories, tax codes, expense categories, and mileage rates. Let's select our company to manage its lists. In this video, we will focus on the settings you find under Manage Lists. Let's click this option. On this page, we find options for categories, tax codes, expense categories, and mileage rates. When a company is connected to an accounting software, a list of categories or general ledger accounts from the accounting software is brought over to Auto Entry and can be reviewed under Categories. By default, all these categories will be available to be selected in transactions. However, if you would like to hide a category from the list, you may do so by clicking the toggle in the visible column. Note that while a company is connected to an accounting software, it is not possible to manually add a category here. To add a new category, simply add a new account in your accounting software before resyncing your data. If we worked in a company that was not connected to an accounting software, then these buttons would allow us to manually add a category, upload a list of categories, or delete a category. Let's have a look at the Tax Codes tab. Like categories, these tax codes were brought over to Auto Entry from your integrated accounting software. These codes are available to be selected in transactions unless we mark them as non-visible. Like categories, if we worked in a company that was not connected to an accounting software, then we could manually add or delete tax codes. Now let's select Expense Categories. This list allows us to configure the categories that will be available to users when submitting an expense report. For each expense category, simply select the appropriate category or general ledger account that this type of expense should be allocated to. In our case, we would like any food expense to be allocated to our meals and entertainment account. Additional expense categories may be added as needed. If an expense category is no longer needed, it can be marked as non-visible or even deleted. Keeping a short list of simple expense categories makes it easier for users to prepare their expense reports. Finally, let's review mileage rates. On this page, you may add as many mileage rates as required for the company. Click Add a mileage rate to add a new rate. For each rate, simply type a name an amount, and a unit. For example, in this case, we have a rate for Canadian colleagues in kilometers and a rate for US colleagues in miles. Like with other lists, mileage rates could be marked as non-visible or deleted. Congratulations, you now know how to manage lists with auto-entry.